Alright, so today this is a G2 reed stuffer. This will fit the reed. It goes inside. It gets rid of this area of turbulence. Uh, the hole in this one is 25 millimeter. That's what they want. I think mine's 20 on mine. But anyways, I got the uh, hole through. It was all done. Let's see. I've got it up here in the slicing software now. Uh, we're gonna rotate this. There we go. Go to the slicer. 50% should be good on that. We got 41 minutes, 55 seconds. Alright, gonna connect. Alright, so here's a little info. <clears throat> this is not an any cubic printer. I know people have asked me, but I use the uh, display holder to, for the controls. Actually, what's in there is an Intel Atom. So, I kind of built my own electronics. But, this whole thing is printed parts. Those are all printed. They are magnetic rod holders, carbon fiber. Uh, they're all done by magnet. So it moves super accurate and easy. Um, but yeah, it's got 260 millimeter plate on it. And I can print upward of 500 millimeters up. So it gives you any idea how big it is. But anyways, here is the reed stuffer, and I'll get back to you in a little bit. Look at bacon. Oh. All right, perfect timing. Part is complete. Rip it off. Let's see if we can uh, focus in on it a little here. Hmm. Of course not. Alright, there we go. It comes out like glass. It, you know, you'll see some of the lines and stuff because it is 3D printed. But this is actually airtight. And there's always a little bit of fuzz and stuff from, you know, when it 
moves place to place like these little I just take a little file and knock them off quick but this came out good this is a 25 millimeter reed stuffer for G2 reed you like my G2 reed stuffer yeah or do you want my bacon mm-hmm that's what I figured you don't care about the stuffer huh all right